2012. If everybody would please rise and lead us in the pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Mayor Linda Soto, present. Trustee Baranowski Zaxton, Trustees Kreese. Here. Huberstein, Eric Barrett. Here. Dave, Trustee Daly is absent in Washington. Here. Okay, we do have a quorum, but we are sure two trustees. Uh, John Baranowski was called into work, and Jerry Daly is out of town. Um, but I have been in touch with them and he had some comments from them and which I'll bring up later on during the meeting. Um, first, if I could have a motion for approval of tonight's agenda, please. So moved. Second. Roll call. Trustees Kreese. Aye. Duberstein. Aye. Barrett. Aye. And Washington. Aye. Motion carried. Okay, at this time I'll give our treasurer, Kelly Hensley, the floor. We're going into our public hearing on a proposed appropriation ordinance for the calendar year, or fiscal year, I should say, of May 1st, 2012 through April 30th, 2013. Thank you. Um, I placed at your settings tonight before you uh, the latest version of the appropriation ordinance along with the budget, um, uh, along with the memo too. The appropriation ordinance and the budget that you received in your packet, those, um, um, there was a couple of changes on there that I did not indicate a memo for to, form to you, which I put in this document to you. Basically, we, uh, Jeff Gately and myself reviewed the gas expenditures and we decided to increase that for the public works truck for this year. Um, with our increase of that to offset it, we did reduce um, maintenance service equipment in the public works fund. And then there was a $300 increase to our accounting and payroll support for the year. So I increased that, and then I did reduce out of computer support program in the $300, so it washed off, it washed away. So that was the change from the packet that you had from the presentation. Tonight before you, the changes is when I processed our quarterly reports, um, I did not realize how much our unemployment rate did go up, and so I had to recalculate everything. So there was an additional about $6,000 between the Public Works Fund and the General Fund. And we did, um, I talked to Trustee Daly yesterday regarding it, got a hold of him out of town, and we discussed it not to take away anything else, we'll just add to that. Um, other than that, there's been no other changes, uh, no other feedback from trustees or staff about anything else. Um, for, we feel very confident with the documents before you. Is there some reason why? What's your right, Georgie? I'm sorry. Was there some reason why the unemployment um, amount went up by so much? Basically because we had um, unemployment claims that happened with the closing of the police department. Oh. We saw a slowly trickle effect. Thank you. Is there any questions from the board? Is there any comments or questions from the floor in regards to the appropriation or budget? Okay, at this time we'll close the public hearing and move on to the regular board meeting. Uh, at this time we will take regular public comments and we have one speaker who's one I lost here. I buried it. Didn't need to. <laughs> Ted Mueller wants to address the board. Please step forward to the mic. Our former mayor. Yep. Ted Mueller, 318 East Catherine Drive, Painesville. Uh, what I'd like to know is what has happened to the island at the entrance to New Point Trails off of Route 120, and why did it happen, and what are the plans for that island to get close off of Well, there was a serious car accident. Um, Jeff isn't here, he knows more in detail. It happened some months ago. Uh, I don't know if the woman had a seizure or a heart attack, I don't recall, but uh, I think it wound up involving four different vehicles and uh, her vehicle wound up on the island or beyond the island. She took out both trees and that's why the trees are gone. 
and uh, we took out a lot of what was left because it was ripped up. So um, the whole island will be redone this season. All right. Yeah, well, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. I, had, I didn't realize there was an accident. Involved. Yeah, there was a very big accident there. I was hoping that there wasn't a Tartan's committee to <laughs> And then there's, in fact, there's also additional work that was already scheduled to be done, not on the island, but uh, by the pond, because we did work there last year mm -hmm. on the pond, so no landscaping or beautification was done there, per se, so some of that will be done as well. But that island is, is a mess due to the okay. car accident okay. that occurred. Okay. And that's why those two posts were in the ground, so that the snow plow truck could see the reflector and know the island was there. The, the, the plow truck, the snow plow truck. What snow plow? <laughs> we, we put two. I got uh, to see oh, you. you're a rascal. <laughs> Go sit down. <laughs> if there's any other comments, you better get up here quick. <laughs> going, going, gone. Okay, let's move on to the omnibus vote agenda. We have a motion for approval. So no Second. Roll call. Trustees Kreese. Aye. Duberstein. Aye. Barrett. Aye. Daly. I mean, in Washington, sorry. Aye. <laughs> motion carried. I have um, an exciting announcement to make. It's rather astonishing. I'm still just floored by it. Our treasurer, Kelly Hensley, Saturday, March 25th, 24th, 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 was her 15 year anniversary working for the village of Haynesville. And I remember those days. I know Kelly remembers those days, and I know Ted remembers as well. Uh, Kelly and I were just talking about it. We were in the old village hall building. And uh, I remember Kelly being pregnant with Kyle, and uh, I remember Kyle being in the village hall part time, and even seeing him in the walker. So we've come a long way. Yes, we have. Kyle's looking at colleges now, so no, not quite. Not quite. Well, he's thinking. You were pregnant in this village hall too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's not build another one. <laughs> Where's the cake? <laughs> Well, I was going to say, at the first April board meeting, which is the better attended meeting, the first meeting of the month, and of course we're short two trustees who would like to be here, um, we will be formally acknowledging Kelly's 15 year anniversary. But I did want to make that announcement because I think it's important to acknowledge it. Um, <clears throat> I have been marching around town uh, hand delivering our business license renewal forms. I'm a little over two-thirds of the way done, and uh, I like to do that so I, I get a chance to speak with everybody, ask questions about how things are going, um, uh, if there's any services or uh, any issues with the police department. So I expect to have those uh, finished up by Friday. Um, the good news is I haven't heard anything bad. Um, I've had a few requests and very reasonable requests uh, about drainage issues or water pooling uh, in common areas that are maintained by the village. So simple things to fix. I've talked to Jeff Gately and Georgian about uh, some things. Uh, there's an area over by Stop and Save that always pulls water and uh, we're also going to look just try to give that corner a little personality with some flowers or a couple bushes or something like that. Um, and also got some very good feedback about the police department. Um, Stop and save had a, uh, when we first started with Grays Lake, there was some miscommunication, a few mishaps. Um, but after a quick meeting and getting everybody uh, on track, that relationship has blossomed and seems to be working very, very well uh, over at that end of town. Also, uh, Al Friello over at the uh, Farmers Insurance Agency He's a longtime member of the community. He was grateful that the Grace Lake PD contacted him on New Year's Eve because his building was left open. The door to his office, uh, something that the 
janitor probably did. Fortunately, nothing was taken, but he did come out and secure the area. Also, uh, we'll be putting this on our website. Um, the Round Lake School District has a opening on their board. So they're asking for letters of interest of anybody who would like to be appointed to that position. And they're asking that the letters be submitted by April 13th. If you want more information, um, click on our website, Hainesville.org, tomorrow, and it'll be posted there. Also, I want to mention, um, I am surprised, number one, that Russ Bradley, our building official, is here tonight. Uh, his father's been ill on and off, and uh, Russ's father passed away, and the funeral was this past Saturday. So Russ just got back into town, and I know he is exhausted. In fact, he's under the weather from lack of sleep. He says walking pneumonia, so I'm surprised he's here. Um, but, uh, uh, our condolences sincerely and uh, to you, and anything you need, you just let us know, Russ. Okay, with that, yeah, we'll move on to uh, any standing committee announcements. Absolutely. Um, Microphone. I just want to mention that in front of trustees and mayor's desk is the Brown Lake area newsletter. They asked me to pass it on to everybody today, so it's at your spot. Is this a new... Uh, newsletter versus yeah. what they've been doing? You know what? I've never received a newsletter. Heather has never asked me to do this. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm assuming this is going to be a monthly. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. A monthly newsletter to everybody. Now, do they send this electronically? It was emailed to me. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, Kelly's giving me the high side that there's two blue kids in front of me, I think, here. Uh, the month of April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. Uh, and there's a big campaign or effort going on. Uh, our public works superintendent will be posting these signs outside in front of the building. They'll be visible. Uh, you can drive through Lake County and hopefully you'll see a lot of these signs uh, in various municipalities and businesses. Uh, libraries, etc., and there is a website posted on there, and that's bluekidslakecounty.org. Uh, and I encourage you all to visit the website. Uh, we want to build awareness about child abuse. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is you think of kids being physically abused, but there's other types of abuse. Uh, there's psychological abuse, there's abuse where a child is simply growing up in a home that maybe there is a drug abuser or substance abuser of some kind, and so that child is really lacking in uh, anything from meals to proper parenting. And so it gives you a lot of information of uh, how to identify these issues, how to report them if you have concerns about a child, um, where to report it, and assuring your confidentiality in those types of matters. Your names would never be given to those people that you are reporting on. Um, obviously, the intent is the welfare of the children or child. So uh, we will be getting more materials to have in our foyer here as well and putting some information again on our website for the month of April. Uh, so another great program. I also know Chief McCutcheon is uh, working on some materials as well through to add with the police department to on child abuse awareness as well. Okay. Any other announcements? Um, yeah. I just wanted to uh, restate that the Great Age Club is having a representative from Pace come to their April 3rd meeting at 2 o'clock. Um, any senior, 62 and older, or someone from their family is welcome to come to find out about the services from PACE. Um, something else. Oh, and the uh, Village Garage Sale is scheduled for the weekend of July 28th and 29th at 